morning, church. From our theme, you can see that the question is, what is man? But let's go a little bit further and ask, what is man that God should be mindful of him? This question has been asked from the earliest creation of man, and it is still being asked today. A few years ago, there was a pastor that preached a message entitled Manatus. And some people took this message very literally and thought that it meant that man or nothing. But is that true? Is that the whole truth about man and his relationship with God? Or is there more to man than the dust out of which he was formed? Let's think for a second. Could it be that God cares for man? Could it be that God loves man? Could it be that he died for man? Could it be that he was raised from the grave for man and wants to be reconciled with man and to live with him in heaven for eternity? Amen. On this May Sunday, we are here declaring that man is much more than the dust he was formed from in the sight of God. Man is the apple of God's eye, yes. and God wants the best for him. Please make welcome Brother Anthony as he will expound on the nature of man. Amen. Thank you, Brother That was an excellent well, that was a very good job. Oh, I was thinking on the nature of, of man. It is a pleasure and a privilege to share with you, brethren, and especially the men and boys and women of this church, on this important subject. Man was indeed born from the dust. I say again, man was indeed formed from the dust. There is no denying. There is no denying. Job chapter 4, verse 19 reads, Thus, how much less are they who dwell in the houses of clay? This means we dwell in our bodies, which are the houses of clay. Their foundation is dust. Job goes further in chapter 25, verse 6. I will read. How much less man that is worm, and the son of man that is a worm. The verses of scripture show the insignificance of man after his fall. After his fall of a relationship with God. The apostle Paul in his writings to the Corinthians, the first epistle, chapter 15, verse 21, reminds us that by man's sin, death came into the world. Yeah. By man's sin, death came into this world. My brothers, the condition of man, the conditions of man, and we also mean woman. Man has a simple nature, which is entirely true. Despite man's simple nature, God wants to have a relationship with us. Job, in this time of distress, asks the following question. Job 7, verse 17, 18. What is man? I could not answer that question. I don't know if any of you can. What is man? But God answers that question for us. God wants a relationship with man. So I say, what is man? Thou shouldest magnify me, which means that God should magnify us. And that should. Thou shouldest set thy heart upon me. That God, God should set his heart upon me, upon you. 
And go should us visit him every morning and try him every and every moment. So I say to you again, walk his hand, that thou shalt magnify him, and that thou should set thy heart upon him, and that thou should visit him every morning, try him every moment. Brethren, human mind cannot comprehend it. It cannot comprehend it. It cannot think of any possibilities. But for all our sin and disobedience, for all our sins and disobedience, God loves man. He really loves man. Wants a redemptive love. He loves us with a redemptive love. A love that forgives all our sins. A love that washes clean. A love that gives us a free pass in His kingdom. A love where we shall find everlasting life. But my brethren, what is man? That he should love man with a redemptive love. My brother, my God, in the ministry, my brother, my God, in the